against uh, you know, your opponent today? Really just um, playing the ball instead of focusing on who I was playing exactly. Um, focusing on myself, on what I have to do, on my technique, um, taking the ball early, moving my feet, um, just focusing on the process. And I think the outcome took care of itself. So. What do you think that um, Jessica did well against you that gave you the most trouble in the match? She hits the ball really hard and deep, which caught me. I mean, I knew I, I knew it was coming, but it definitely caught me off guard. But um, I, I've been playing on grandstand one, so the courts are the court was faster than the center court, so I think I was good there. And so obviously you're gunning for your first title tomorrow. Uh, what do you do to kind of like block out all that emotion and uh, try to just focus on the task at hand? I do have my brother and uh, my boyfriend here to help me kind of take my mind off the things, which is really nice. But um, really just trying to relax and not make that big of a deal out of it. You know, it is a big deal. So. <laughs> right. And um, you know. We've read and seen that your backhand is like your biggest weapon, and I'm wondering, um, obviously a lot of players are forehands are weapon, but how did you kind of just uh, develop such a great backhand? Um, well, I'm very dexterous, so I read with my left hand, you with my left hand, so I think that definitely helps a little bit. So. Awesome, and last question for you. Uh, what's one tip that you can give our audience that would help them improve their tennis games? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. For me, it's hard work, putting in the work, um, and not just uh, aimless, but having a set goal and knowing what you're doing and improving every day. So. Awesome. Best of luck, and thank you for talking with us. Appreciate it.